G'day guys, Rod here from Movement Theory. Uh, today I'm bringing you uh, this video from my new location uh, in Glenelg. So I'm very fortunate to have moved here two, three weeks ago um, and I'll be operating out of a Partridge GP clinic. So very, very lucky and, and very happy to uh, be in a new space and, and be surrounded by some like-minded uh, health professionals as well. So, but today I wanna to talk about uh, a topic that's been on my mind uh, for a while now, um, and I'm bringing you some uh, tips and tricks that you can do during the day at work. And the key term that I wanna sort of um, refer to is a concept called movement snacking. So as some of you may do at work, you might snack on some cashews or some, some berries, um, or even have a protein shake um, throughout the day. Um, what I want to alert to you guys is that we can actually do some movement snacking, so which will involve breaking up maybe your home exercise program that you might have to do at home into your daily routine. So this could involve you know, getting up every hour and spending maybe a minute or two on the foam roller, um, or it might also involve you just walking to the toilet, uh, maybe in the, you know, you need to do a wee or anything like that. Any form of incidental exercise that you do during the day is gonna re reduce that stress and anxiety when you get home from work thinking, oh, I've gotta do eight exercises. So we're gonna bring you some stuff that you can do from, from work. Um, there's a lot of benefits from doing this type of thing. It also creates awareness to your colleagues. So. If you're someone who is regularly going to the physio and doing something at work might sort of create a conversation, oh, what are you doing there? This is a good way to just help other people and always be that kind of uh, promotion team for movement theory in a way, but it's also creating that healthy awareness that is, is essentially what movement theory is all about. So movement theory is about educating people, empowering people, getting people in control of their own body. Um, as funny as it might sound, I'm not here to fix you. Um, you're here to fix yourself. So if we can give you the right tools, give you the right framework and make things easier for you, then I think we're doing our job right. And I think this is where this movement snacking concept comes into full effect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my lovely office worker in to show you what she would do during the day, um, what positions she'd spend her time in. Um, and we'll look at posture um, a little bit more closely, but Posture isn't everything, so if we do spend three, four hours in a certain posture, then it can be detrimental to the soft tissue structures around your spine, your neck, and all those sort of things, and that's how we develop these things called trigger points. Um, but if we're re repositioning ourselves very often, then we can then start to loosen up the tissues and not sort of go into that sort of um, postural adaptation, because that's kind of the main thing that we're trying to get across here is that posture isn't king. So if someone might come in with a you know forward head posture or a hunched posture, they might be you know pain free. It's just, it's when we spend additional time in these postures that it can become a bit detrimental to our health. So yeah, let's run through that now. So as you can see, Posture isn't everything, but if we get stuck in this sort of forward head posture or light work, um, we can get a lot of strain happening to the muscles of the back of the neck and the shoulder. So we wanna try and really see if we can mix things up. So what we'd like to do is to have a little bit more of an upright posture. So you don't wanna be hunched over too much, but at the same time, you don't wanna really be putting too much strain through those back muscles. Um, and you wanna have your ergonomics set up nice and nice and well. So um, what we can also do though, is, is this concept of movement stacking, is to do some movement during the day, just to really free up those muscles so they're not in that position all the time. So what we can do, for example, is just do some gentle side stretches while sitting in a chair. So just going left versus right. So stretching left versus right and doing some rotations as well, just to really free up that that body, and it doesn't have to take too long, but when you're doing stuff all the time and you get caught up in work, it's hard to sort of break out that routine and, and break out of that sort of, um, that movement posture or habit that you've got. So another form of movement snacking we can do whilst we're at the table is also um, just do a basic stand up. So we can stand up, just have a bit of a rest, and 
just pop on our hands on our hips and we can just do some back extension. So really just stretching out the, the front of the body. So when we're sitting down for a long period of time, the fascia at the front of the body can become quite restricted. So by just doing some gentle back bends, and we don't want to be sort of forcing it too much, especially if you've got some lower back pain, you want to just be doing some nice stretching. And then you can actually just raise your arms overhead as well, like you're really stretching back and then really getting that fascia to really stretch on that front of your body. So that's the, that's the next one you can do. So the next one we can do is, if you're not afraid to kick your heels off in the, in the work office and you don't have too much smelly feet and you're not gonna distract other people, we can do some rolling of our feet with the ball. So basically just getting a little lacrosse ball and just popping it on to the bottom of our foot and just rolling forwards and backwards, nice and gently. Now, if you've never done this before, it can be quite uncomfortable, so we wanna just be doing it as, as much as we can without too many dramas. And you can actually do that whilst you're working, so um, even just spending one to two minutes just going up and down, back and forth. What tends to happen is because we wear closed fitting shoes normally to work, so whether we're wearing heels, or you know a dress shoe our feet become quite restricted okay and they're not really open uh, the toes are really squashed in and our joints become really stiff and you'll find that when you get to the end of the day that your feet start to really hurt and that's because they haven't been given the opportunity to actually breathe so by doing this you're actually opening up the feet and getting a little bit more of relaxation through the through the joints and the muscles and it will just take a little bit of stress off your calves and the rest of your leg muscles as well. The last little bit about movement stacking that I wanna talk about is um, also following on from that incidental exercise sort of um, scenario is just going for a bit of a walk. So what I tend to find is good for, for a lot of people is if you drink a lot of water, it actually forces you to go to the loo and maybe get a little bit of that uh, extra water out. So this incidental activity actually forces you to get up and walk. So you can get up, just have a bit of a break every half an hour or an hour and just walk around the office. Um, hopefully don't get too distracted. It's just walking around the office will be really good just to free things up and just do a few stretches before you get back to your desk. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video on movement snacking. So what I want you to take away from this video is that this is a concept that we can help create some awareness. I think um, a lot of people in the workforce need some help with just general movement stuff during the day. Um, yes, we get caught up with work, but it's good to just keep moving. And if we can break up our home exercise program into you know eight little actions during the day instead of coming home and having to spend 15 to 30 minutes doing an exercise program, it'll just relieve some of our stress and anxiety, which is very important to overall health and well-being. So see how you go, guys. Like and share this video and look forward to bringing out some more content real soon. Thanks guys.